The Miami Heat fell to the Milwaukee Bucks on Saturday, 123-115, marking their third loss in the last four games. Miami's recent skid has brought their record to 29-25, which has them slotted at sixth in the Eastern Conference. Despite the loss, the Heat got a strong performance out of star forward Jimmy Butler. He posted 32 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists, while shooting 11-21 from the floor and 9-10 from the free throw line. Bucks head coach Mike Budenholzer had some words on Butler, following his squad's February 4 victory. That's one of the toughest things is to keep him off the free throw line, Budenholzer explained via Bally Sports Wisconsin. Overall, I think we can be better with that, it's a huge challenge. He was aggressive there for stretch and kind of put them up, luckily we were able to flip it. He's a great player, we have a ton of respect for him. We know that he can do a little bit of everything. He's great playmaker and facilitator, but when he needs to score he can do that. Butler, who played his college ball in Milwaukee at Marquette University, has been solid for the Heat all season. He's appeared in 39 of Miami's 54 games this year, playing 33.9 minutes each time. The 33-year-old averages 21.9 points, 6 rebounds, and 4.9 assists, while shooting 51.8% overall and 30.6% from beyond the arc. But first, if you are new to the Bucks News Channel, take advantage and subscribe so you don't miss the latest news that happens in the world of basketball. We are always bringing you firsthand here. Enjoy and like this video so that YouTube continues to bring you the latest Bucks news in the world of basketball. Heat's Jimmy Butler speaks on All Star snub. Though Butler has been fantastic for the Heat this season, he was not select to play in the All Star game. Following the loss to Milwaukee, the Heat star was asked if he was disappointed to be left off of the roster. Me no All Star? Please. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. But Bam does deserve that. He's been carrying the load a lot this year. I'm happy for him, he told the Miami Herald's Barry Jackson. As for me? I'm happy I get a vacation. Heat expected to trade Dwayne Dedman at deadline. As the Heat struggle to play consistent basketball this season, fans and media members continue to speculate on potential trades that the front office could make to improve the roster. On February 3rd, Bleacher Report's Dan Favalli listed off trade predictions for every NBA team. When discussing Miami, Favalli explained that he expects that Dwayne Dedman will be offloaded. He, Dedman, barely plays and doesn't seem too happy, and turning his $4.7 million salary into a smaller number will afford Miami more wiggle room under the tax, which it's currently inside $200,000 of hitting, Favalli wrote. That extra breathing room will come in handy on the buyout market or in conjunction with other trades. A trade involving the big man not only makes sense because of his contract, but also because he's clearly fallen out of favor with Heat head coach Eric Spolstra. Back on January 10th, the two got into an argument during Miami's matchup with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Ever since, Deadman has not been a part of the Heat's rotation. Spolstra even chose to roll out Udonis Haslam who has appeared in just six games for the Heat this year, instead of playing Deadman against the Knicks on February 2nd. 